on this edition of Titans All Access. We come home from whipping the Raiders, and General Manager John Robinson gets us ready for the next challenge, a first-place showdown with the Houston Texans. Our Nissan Insider features Mike Keith's visit with wide receiver Corey Davis. Coach Dave McGinnis is back with another great look beneath the surface. It's the shoe. Titans players share their causes and the special shoes they will wear. And we go beyond football with Taylor Lewan. All that and more on this edition of Titans All Access, which starts now. Historically through the years, this venue has been a very physical place to play. These Titans arrive, winners of three in a row. This does have a playoff atmosphere. He has been terrific as a starter for the Tennessee Titans. You've got to play physical between the whistles here because it can get out of hand in this place pretty quick. Man, he's strong. A.J. Brown taking him to school as the Titans come to the West Coast and get it done again. He's in trouble. He's sad. Taken down by Wesley Woodyard. 69 yards. Derrick Henry. Touchdown! Touchdown! Tight Tennessee will not go quietly. Throw your hands up in the sky. Welcome to Titans All Access with Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith. We're joined by General Manager John Robinson. And this Sunday, the big one at Nissan Stadium for first place. The Titans host the Texans. Game starts at noon central time. It's code blue. We want everybody to wear their Titans blue, which of course is light blue. And let's pack the place and make it look great. Amy Wells, do you have anything in Titan blue? Come on, Mikey. Let's be serious. Of course I have Titans blue. It's all, right. all I own. All right. And black. And black. <laughs> I was going to say. Anyway, so it'll look great. It's going to be great. Looking yep. forward to it. All right. So good stuff. Code blue. We expect you there on Sunday in your Titans blue to help get it started for the Tennessee Titans. Again, it's a noon kickoff. Now, John, I know it's been a couple of days since the Titans beat the Raiders, but it was such a big win. What moments really stuck out to you in that contest? Well, really in the first half, it, there was a lot of back and forth. Um, we were able to move the ball down offensively. They got a turnover. We came back and scored. Going to halftime, tied up 21, you know, all. And, and we knew, you know, just looking at the statistics, they scored a lot of points in the first half over the course of the season, but in the second half, for whatever reason, they dwindled. Defensively, we did a really good job coming out, forcing a punt. We got two three and outs, which we were able to get touchdowns on. The hammer tackle by Ty Smith, the recovered fumble by Jayon was an awesome play for us. And I thought kind of the defining moment of our football team was there at the end where we were up three scores, but we have a goal line stand to force four downs and really seal the victory. Need more of the same against the Texans this Sunday, without a doubt. It's hard to believe it's week 15. We haven't seen the Texans yet this season. What stands out to you about Houston? A lot of explosive playmakers, really on both sides of the ball. Uh, offensively, you know, we all know about Watson, but they've got Hopkins, they've got Fuller, they've got Stills, they've got Couty, they've got a two-headed monster at, at back, and, and Johnson and Hyde, they're really running strong. They've bolstered that offensive line. So, And defensively, you know, they, they're minus a couple players, but they're still aggressive, and Romeo's got them playing hard. Now, you mentioned Deshaun Watson. He's a quarterback that we haven't seen yet this season. What do the Titans need to do to stop him? Well, I mean, he's, he's a tough guy to wrangle. The biggest challenge is getting pressure on him, yet containing him. And, and when you get back there, getting him on the ground, there's so many plays when you watch this guy where guys have him in the grasp and it looks like he's about to hit the turf, but somehow he bends and contorts, gets himself out of, you know, sticky situations, is able to extend plays and get the ball down the field to the playmakers. And he's got several playmakers to throw it to, led by DeAndre Hopkins. How do you slow down one of the best receivers in the league? Yeah, it's going to be a huge challenge for us. He's so good. He's so strong. He's fast. His hands and his ball skills are excellent. He's got a unique ability to know where he's at on the field, to keep himself in bounds and extend plays that are close to the sideline or close to the, to the end line. He's just such a dynamic playmaker. You just try to limit the, the opportunities that he gets. On defense, Jadavion Clowney is in Seattle. J.J. Watts on IR. How different is this defense without those two playmakers? Well, anytime you lose two premium players, it, I mean, it puts a little bit more um, stress on, on you defensively. But but Romeo's doing a great job front-wise for those guys. DJ Reader's having an outstanding season. You know, everybody wants to put him in the nose tackle category because he's 330, 340 pounds. But he's athletic. He can run. He can rush the passer. And you've got Merciless, McKinney, Cunningham, the Vanderbilt product, that linebacker who, who are really outstanding players. 
And they've bolstered that secondary through trades, through claims, and they've got athleticism back there. How do the Tennessee Titans knock off the Texans on Sunday? Well, I think we've got to stick to our game plan offensively and build that momentum and continue to do what we've been able to do, which is run the football, set up play action pass. We've got to continue to convert on third down. That's been key for us is being able to stay on the field and extend drives, get down to the red zone, and, and get touchdowns uh, when we get down there. Defensively, it's about limiting the playmakers, which like we've talked about, is keeping those guys at bay, getting off the field on third down, and putting as much stress on Deshaun as possible. Switching gears a little bit, Sunday is the My Cause, My Cleats game. Why is that so popular across the league? Well, there's so many things that, that players are involved in outside of football that they're passionate about, that they donate their time and, and their resources to. And it's just a really cool thing for them to be able to bring that on the field uh, to show the fans what else they're passionate about. It's very special. And speaking of that, let's take a look at one of our Titans players with his cleats revealing his cause. <laughs> So my cause was Metro Nashville Public School System. And I partnered with ABC Food Tour, started by my friends, Matt, James, and Tyler. And I wanted to bring it to Nashville. We've done it in New York. We go to a school in the community and we take kids on a field trip of going to exercise and then going to a restaurant to eat. Welcome back to Titans All Access. This is Coach Mac game day color analyst for Titans Radio. Today we're going to go beneath the surface and look at three critical touchdowns the Titans scored to come away with a huge, huge victory in the Oakland Coliseum. First play we're going to look at is in second quarter. First and ten, ball is on the minus nine. This is a really nice call by Arthur Smith, backed up. It's a 12 personnel. You've got two wide receivers, two tight ends. Put the wide receiver in motion, causes the linebackers to bump across, you get the slide action here. John who coming across the formation. All of the Oakland Raiders are geared to stop the run. Everything is pulled up to stop the run. The cornerback now is in man-to-man -man on the backside because the safety is really looking at the run fake, all keyed in on Derrick Henry. Nice play action fake, set up, really good job on the outside. A.J. Brown, watch him get off the cornerback, use his combat move to get off the cornerback. Now he's upfield. Ryan Tannehill sets his feet, really stands tall in the pocket. Excellent, excellent job by Ryan Tannehill, giving his receiver a chance to clear at the line of scrimmage and then drops a perfect pass from the sky right down the stovepipe, shrugs off the defensive back, 91-yard touchdown. Tennessee Titans, great play call by Arthur Smith, backed up in the shadow of your own goal line. Huge play in this ball game. Scores now 28-21, Tennessee is ahead. 11 personnel, condensed formation, really a nice deceptive play. With the release, Jonu Smith releases into the line of scrimmage. The Oakland Raiders are in man-to-man. -man. The safety for the Raiders has Jonu man-to-man. He loses him with this release. Really a nice tight look. It makes it look like run. Excellent job by the offensive line. Showing outside zone run. Ryan Tannehill, elongated boot to draw all of the coverage over here to his side. This is a boot wheel throwback, perfectly thrown. Tremendous, tremendous concentration, strength. This is a quintessential combat catch, strong catch, comes down in the end zone, touchdown, Titans. We're now 13-41, fourth quarter, score has now been separated. Titans are now in a five under, two deep zone, protecting a two score lead. Everybody gets a nice zone drop, eyes on the ball, directional delivery key. Carr throws to the outside, to his check down, to his tight end. Ty Smith, really nice job. Quarter turning, directional delivery key, puts his foot in the ground, breaks, really good pursuit and break. This is all on effort. This play is made by great tackling, technique to punch the ball out, and then effort. Everyone running to the football. Watch Ty Smith, punches the ball out, Nice effort running to the football. Jayon Brown right on the spot. Gets help locating the ball from everybody on the sideline. Jayon, scoop, score. Now he's got an escort into the end zone. This was a nail in the coffin, in the black hole. Tennessee Titans, huge win in Oakland. Come back home, eight and five. When Titans All Access continues, we go beyond football with Taylon Lewan. But first, 
Let's see what's important to Titans players as we prepare for the My Cause, My Cleats game this Sunday. My organization is FAIR. It's the leading organization when it comes to food allergies and food allergies research and fundraising. There's just a lot of work that goes in for parents to try and help them protect their kids. And so I'm um, doing this, I'm just trying to spread awareness and you know, make life easier for kids. Welcome back to Titans All Access. I would say it is safe to say that every Titans fan knows number 77, Taylor Lewan. Yep, agreed. All right. But every Titans fan should know his better half, his wife, Taylor Lewan. Absolutely. Taylor is someone that you've heard a lot about, but getting to know her is something really special. And something that's really important to her is giving back. And really, she gets the whole family involved. <laughs> I think we all do things that make us happy and we all do things that make us feel good. I don't know why Taylor wants to go fight 285 pound men on the field. I've never in my life been compelled to do that, but he was born like that, you know what I mean? So I think I was just born with purpose to help. And I'm really glad that other people are too because I think it's what helps our world go around. Stephen Young spent five years on the Nashville streets. He now runs Home Street Home Ministries, a nonprofit on a mission to provide for the homeless. My friend April Tomlin, she was just watching the news last year, early December, I think it was, and she saw Stephen Young on the news talking about homelessness, and it really struck a chord with her, and he really moved her. So she called her friend Lauren, and they went and met with him. And she called me to t tell me about what was going on, and I was like, let's do an event. We did that event in two weeks and we raised I think over $200,000 and it just changed Steven's life and he really got to take his dream and let it grow. People have really just been giving and giving and giving and so it's been an unbelievable experience just to pull this whole thing together in such a short amount of time. We hope to bring a lot of awareness to Home Street Home and homelessness in Nashville in general. What we did with Home Street Home is we took what Nashville is, which is we got hockey, we got football, and we got music. And so we try to take those three communities who are very blessed in their life and have a lot to give and have huge hearts so far we've found. And we've just been able to use the platforms that we all have and it's, it's really getting bigger and bigger with little effort from us pushing it. It's just people wanting to be a part of this. So it's not just us. Everybody wants to, everybody wants to help. I believe whatever you give, you, give, you get back. And it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get it back from that person, but whatever you put out there, you're going to get in return. So I think when we live in this lifestyle and we're given so much, it just makes me feel like, well, I'm not going to stop now. You know what I mean? Like now I have more to give. Like I've been put in this position now where I can give tenfolds more than I was able to before and change lives. If one thing I could do would be to inspire somebody who sits there and wants to help to know that it's really easy to do and you just gotta start, you know what I mean? Like it's like, just start by doing simple things and then if I can inspire someone to do that, then everybody's doing their part and everyone's making change. And I feel like if we all focused on how we could change the world in a better way, then we're all doing our part here. It's a really great feature. Hi, thanks. Taylor Lewan is special. She's something else, you know? She's someone you wanna be friends with. Very cool. Mm -hmm. All right, coming up on Titans All Access, our Nissan insider, Corey Davis. He's around the corner. But as we take you to break, it's another player with his cause and his cleats. I did my cause, my cleats, on you know, my foundation, the Two All Foundation, focusing on the youth and being a great influence on you know them throughout their lives any way that I can. The purple violet color comes from my grandmother. The W in the two is uh, a butterfly. She loved butterflies. I was just inspired to do something in her remembrance. Ryan Tannehill completed 21 passes at Oakland for 391 yards. Amy Wells, how many different Titans receivers caught passes? 10. Correct. Ha <laughs> ha. You are correct. 10 different receivers caught passes, and that includes Corey Davis, who caught two for 34 yards. The receiver continues to make plays for the Titans on the field, and he's a leader off the field as well. One of the most likable Titans standing by in our Nissan Insider, here's Corey Davis. Davis The 
game of football has now been around for 150 years. College football has been around for 150 years. But this man, Corey Davis, is the only man in the history of college football with 300 plus catches, 5,000 plus yards, and 50 plus touchdown receptions. Now you think about that. In the history of the game, you're the only guy to do that in college football. How does that make you feel? Pretty crazy. Um, you know, just looking back on it, just seeing all the work, you know, not only me, but all the whole team put in, you know, back when I was in college. You know, it was pretty, pretty humbling just to see, like I said, all the work put in and how it all paid off. So definitely great. You would think that Corey Davis is the most famous football player to come out of his high school based on those numbers, but that's not true. Your high school is almost as old as, as football. It goes back to 1876. Red Grange. Wheaton, Warrenville South, Red Grange. The Galloping Ghost. So uh, he went to your high school. So how much do you know about the legendary college and pro football Hall of Famer? Uh, a little bit about him. Um, like you said, I mean, he's, he's obviously the greatest, you know, to ever come out of our high school. Um, it's kind of hard to, you know, to not to, you know, hear about him. Um, he's everywhere. You know, his face is everywhere all around the school. Um, <laughs> they used to call him the Ice Man because he used to carry around a big block of ice and just chip it off, you know, back in the day. You know, just going door to door, giving people ice. But he was a uh, great player. You know, watched a few of his few of his highlights from what they what they had back then. A great player. How, so how did you become aware of him in high school? I actually knew about him before I got to high school. You know, played a little little league football around there. His name was everywhere. Obviously, he's just a great player. All right, so let me ask you this: Other famous people went to your high school, mm -hmm. including John Belushi, who you obviously didn't know. His brother Jim Belushi, though, was he ever around? Uh, I never saw him, but he was. I heard his name, you know, buzzing around <laughs> a few times. Now, who's almost as famous as Adoree Jackson? Adoree Jackson is almost <laughs> as famous. Now, Adoree and you, it is so fun to watch the two of you come in in the first round together in 2017. You battle in practice. You have a very special relationship. What does that mean to you on and off the field that you and Adoree are really a pair of guys? Yeah, Adoree's a cool dude. Um, he's a great player. Um, you know, he's, he's always coming to work. You know, day in and day out, he's ready to go out there and, and get after it and, you know, perfect his craft, which is one of the things, you know, I really respect about him. But off the field, he's real cool too. I feel like he's, he's definitely one of the funniest guys in the locker room if you really, you know, get to talk to him. But um, he's just a blessing to be around, you know, him and, you know, a lot of the other guys on the team. Real, real good locker room. Adoree is the guy, though, that has more of the wide receiver personality. Yeah. You're more of the reserve guy. Wide receivers are usually kind of boisterous guys, um, but that's not you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm. A little bit more reserved, um, you know, not as outgoing as, as most, but um, you know, that's that's who I am. But you compete. Yeah, no doubt. You like to compete. I love it. So you you're saying you don't have to show that outwardly to truly be a competitor. Yeah, I mean, you don't gotta you don't gotta talk a lot to go out there and, and get after someone. Um, you gotta more so show it, especially in this sport. What would you be doing if you weren't playing football? It's a great question. That is a great question. I would, I feel like I'd be around the sport somehow, coaching or you know something like that. Do you see yourself potentially coaching like your position coach, Rob Moore, who was a great player in the league? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You know, starting off um, maybe with, you know, little kids, high school, somewhere around there, um, kind of working my way up. What does the game of football mean to you in that way? It means everything. You know, um, you know I kind of tie it in. You know, football is like, is like life, you know, on the field. Um, you never know what's, what's going to get thrown at you. You know, there's ups and there's downs, but you got to handle it, you know, kind of as it comes. You know, it's the ultimate team sport. You got to rely on your, your brother next to you that he's going to give everything. You know that he's got, and you got to do the same thing. Good talk with Corey Davis there. When we come back, it's time for good news and good night. You're two for two in this segment. I'll tell you what, I should get a prize. Stay tuned. No prizes. Maybe. <laughs> On the next Titans All Access, Rashawn Evans leads the Tennessee Titans in tackles. And number 54 is never at a loss for words. That's why Evans is this week's Nissan Insider. He keeps breaking it down like no one else. I'm talking about Titans radio game day analyst Dave McGinnis, who is taking us beneath the surface again this weekend. We will introduce you to the Tennessee Titans Walter Payton Community Man of the Year and show you some of the best off-the-field work from the Titans here in December. And General Manager John Robinson is back 
to preview the visit from the NFC South champion, New Orleans Saints. All that and more next time on Titans All Access. Reminder, this Sunday, Titans-Texans for first place in the AFC South. Wear your light blue, your Titans blue. It is code blue at Nissan Stadium for this big football game, which kicks off at noon central time. That's good news. So is Kevin Byard teaming up with Bridge Ministries to help the Bridge Kids. Absolutely. Bridge Ministries, Kevin Byard, and Campbell's Chunky all got together for this special event. They partnered with Overton High School football team, their kids, and their coaches. They all got together to pack these bags for the Bridge Kids. Now these bags go home with these kids on Fridays. They're filled with healthy snacks and some meals to get these kids through the weekend because there's no school over the weekend. So such an awesome event to see them all getting together to fill these bags with food for a really good cause. And for Kevin Byard, it's especially poignant because when he was a youngster growing up in Georgia, he could have used this type of help on the weekends. We just had a big win. Body's a little bit sore, but I made sure I got up and uh, did my part working out here with Bridge Ministry. They do an amazing job in this community, man. Dealing with the homeless, dealing with kids, especially during this holiday season, it, it means a lot to these people. Kevin Byard, a good guy and obviously a good player. Need a big game from him on Sunday. Oh, absolutely. Code blue. Code blue, woohoo! Titans and the Texans Sunday at Nissan Stadium. For Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Light blue.